we all know how good hemp is in our fishing. You know, I've used it for years and years and years in my fishing for carp, and it really is probably the best particle there is out there. You know, every fish swimming loves it, and carp particularly like it. You know, I use it here in my spot mixes as a background feed. You know, I use it for a little handful of hemp in the edge for fishing a tiger over the top of it. Or I mix it in with my boilies as well, you know, hemp and boilies. You know, you put corn in there, anything. But I've found over the years something that really works is chilli hemp. Chilli hemp with that heat infused into the hemp is a, is a real winner. So I'm going to show you how to make chilli hemp. I mean, you can go and buy it in uh, tubs from the tackle shop. Uh, there's various companies out there also that do um, fresh cooked chilli hemp, which you put in the freezer. Also, there's companies out there with preserved hemp, which you can just leave in the back of the van as well, or in, in the shed. But, it, you know, it seems to be a bit of a forgotten edge to actually make it yourself. If you're on a budget, then this is the ideal video for you. And all you need is a sack of hemp, you know, quality hemp, a cool box, some chilli flakes, bicarbonate of soda, and uh, just a bit of time and effort. And I'll show you exactly how I'm gonna make the chilli hemp when we go to the kitchen. Right, let's crack on and show you exactly how I'm gonna make perfect chilli hemp. All we need to do is to first fill up the cool box half full with your raw hemp. Now the raw hemp you can get at uh, lots of animal feed places or you can order it from places like CC Moore, you can order a sack of it. Uh, Hinders of Swindon, they'll, they'll be able to send you a sack as well. So get yourself a good quality, go for a good quality hemp provider and, and you won't go far wrong. So we're going to fill up the, the cool box half full. Now the reason we only fill it half full is because we're going to fill the rest, rest of it right to the top with boiling water from the kettle. And what happens is once you put that boiling water in and you seal the cool box, the hemp will expand, take on all that water. So if we filled it right to the top, then it's going to overflow or all the water's not going to get into the hemp. It's best to fill it only halfway full with the raw hemp. So let's do that. Let's fill it halfway with the raw hemp. Now it's always a good idea to do this when the missus is out of work or she's away for the weekend or, or she's out shopping. Because if my missus could see me doing this now, she'd have an absolute fit. She'd have a, uh, you know, she'd go mental. So, right, that's roughly about half full. That's roughly about half full with your raw hemp. Next thing to do is, which I always do when I'm cooking my own hemp, is to add some of this baby, bicarbonate soda. And what this will do is, this will bring out the blackness in the hemp and help the hemp to split as well. It just finishes, gives it a nice finish to the overall look of the hemp as well. So we stick about, I reckon about a big spoonful like that in there. Bang that on top. And also, the chilli flakes. And this is the most important thing about infusing all that heat from these chilli flakes into the hemp. As you pour in the boiling water, which I'm going to do in a minute, what will happen is that will cook inside the cool box. And with the addition of the chilli flakes, the crust chilli flakes, what will happen is that refuse as it cooks over a period of 24 hours, it will, it will all the heat in there as well, because using the cool box it retains all the heat, it sort of cooks itself, so you don't have to do no boiling or anything like that, like I used to years ago, and the chilli will infuse into that hemp and make it nice and hot, and proper chilli hemp. So we stick some of this in, put the lid off, now you get this, you get these chilli flakes from your, you know, like your Indian or, or um, you know, food, Asian food uh, shops if you've got one near you. You can also get them off eBay or in Tesco's or Sainsbury's. You know, pretty easy to find the chilli flakes. <coughs> also, what you can do is you can actually buy raw chillies, cut them up all small and put that in there and also. So I had about, I had a good helping helping in there depends how hot you want it I like it really hot so we had a, a good help with probably about or oh, about about 20, 20th of the big jar put that in there because that a good mix up right next stage what we're going to do now is that we've mixed it all up we've got our bicarbonate soda in there and we've got our 
chilli ant flakes in there, we're going to keep on adding hot water to it, either boiling it on the stove, or what I do is I just keep refilling the kettle up, and keep pouring it in, keep pouring it in, keep pouring it in, keep the lid closed till it rises right to the top, keep pouring it in, and then we seal it, and then we leave it overnight, and then in the morning you'll come back and it'll be perfect chilli ant. Here we go, it's 12, 24 hours later, it's actually still warm, the cool box, let's have a look. Look at that, lovely, lovely chilli hemp, easy as anything to make, a little bit of time and effort, and you get lovely hemp, lovely chilli hemp, just like that. <laughs>